First, let's select the diode option in the multimeter. So let's begin with the big one. So I'm going to teach you guys how to test it. And also I'm going to know if this MOSFET is N channel MOSFET or P channel MOSFET using the multimeter, of course. For this kind of MOSFET, the first pin here is the gate. Okay. The second is for drain. And over here we have the source. So guys, I'm going to show you many methods for the first time you will hear about these techniques. So let's get started. First guys, you have to shunt between the gate and drain using any probe like this or just use your finger like this, okay? In order to get correct values. After that, let's put the black probe here in the drain and the red probe in the source. Good, we get a reading in the multimeter about 560. So if I swap the probes, this time the black probe here in the source and the red probe in the drain, you see no reading. We have one in the multimeter, means this MOSFET is good MOSFET and the type of this MOSFET is what? So the type of this MOSFET is N channel. Okay, guys, why in channel? Because I find the reading when I put the black probe here in the drain and the red probe in the source. I find the reading. Means this MOSFET is N channel. And to understand more, guys, for beginners, I can even draw for you the schematic for this MOSFET. Here we have the gate. Okay. Here, let's see, we have drain. And over here, we have source. For in channel, guys, you will find a diode in this direction, as you can see here, like this. From source to drain. So the anode connected to the source, the cathode connected to the drain. That's why I get a reading when I put the black probe in the drain here. Okay. Black probe in the drain and the red probe in the source. So black probe here in the drain, red probe here in the source, as you can see. Okay, we get a reading, black probe in the drain, red probe in the source. But if I touch the gate, guys, like this, and go and check again, we get no stable reading. Means this MOSFET is good. So let's discharge the MOSFET again. I can even swap the probes like this, guys. Pay attention. Here we get a reading. Do you see? This is the second method. Here we get a normal reading, as you can see. 460. This is normal reading. But if you touch the gate, the reading will be a little bit low. Do you see? 100. So this is, guys, the techniques and methods. I'm sure you hear this technique for this, the first time. Sometimes when you touch the gate, you will get a buzzer, a continuity. But sometimes you can just get a lower reading. Let's discharge the MOSFET again and do it again. So this is normal reading here. We have 460. Once I touch the gate like this, I should get a low reading. Not continuity, but low reading. So this MOSFET is good and this MOSFET is in channel because we get a reading, we get here 460 watt drop voltage. Okay, guys? So this one here is good one. Okay? Let's move on to another MOSFET.